Welcome back. John Cusack is on his way out from the profile of Tracy Lords is there in England's hottest band, Jamiroquai. Ow. Ow. They'll perform as well. My first guest, a very talented actor who has starred in such films as The Grifters, Say Anything, and Woody Allen's Bullets Over Broadway, currently stars in Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil, which opens this Friday in a theater near you and one near me also. Please welcome John Cusack. <laughs> First, let me, let me thank you for coming. I know you're I know you're a little under the weather today. Yeah, a little sick. We little. left you some prescription medicine and a bottle of liquor. Yes, you did. Did that help? <laughs> Theraflu and a nice bottle of wine. Thank yeah, well, that'll work. Yeah. You know, just mix them in, you know, reasonable doses. Yeah, yeah. Now, I, I enjoyed your film very much. You filmed this down uh, in Savannah, right? Yes, yes, Savannah, Georgia. Midnight nope. in the Garden of Good and Evil. Now, what do you call people? Are they... Savannians? What? I guess it'd be Savannians or like just like Chicagoans or yeah. anything else. Yeah. So yeah. Chicago, Savannah. It's fascinating down there. Isn't that a beautiful place? People always think, yeah, that, you know, is. people always do jokes about the South, but it's, it's very cultured. You, know, you almost feel like you're in a, like a, a part of England, very sophisticated. There. Yeah, it's a very sort of slow, graceful, mannered, polite society, but underneath all that stuff is a lot of weirdness. <laughs> well, so, yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> so that's that's kind of what the movie's about. Did you spend much, obviously you spent a lot of time doing Yeah, we film, filmed down in Savannah, so we were there for, for quite some time. Did you get to hang out? Did you take in the local? Uh... Yeah, you, we were filming right in the heart of downtown Savannah, and it's a very, you know, erotic, strange, lush place, and uh, <laughs> they enjoy their uh, cocktails, and they really enjoy their social life, and Gossip is hard currency in that town. They, all, they love to talk and gossip, and there's all these beautiful squares and fountains and peat moss. It's a, it's a cool place. Yeah, they try to keep it as it was, like, what, the 1800s? Yeah, they're, they're, they're not interested at all in being modern. They're yeah. not interested in the future. And, in fact, they asked the city planners, you know, what they had in mind for Savannah in the next 10 years, and they said nothing. You know, <laughs> Why? They, they, they want it to be the way it was. They want to keep it the way it was. And so in that aspect it's a very interesting place. Well there's one character. You see you know what I always love about the South? They always sort of talk around things and that's what I thought Clint Eastwood did a great job in it mm -hmm. because they never actually say things. They kind of go like there's that one character, Lady Chablis. Yes, Lady, the Lady Chablis. Who is, uh, well, I guess she's a transvestite uh, drag queen? She's a transsec transvestite. Transvestite. What's the difference between a transvestite and a transsexual? About a hundred bucks. Hey! Hey! Good hey, night. Well, no, uh, Jay Leno. Thank you. We'll be here all week. We'll, we'll be, be here all week. week. Thank you. I think one has had the operation and had the various uh, toolbox and everything. Ruined. Right, correct. Um, I don't know exactly what the story is with Chablis. I know that, um, I know that, I know that. What do you mean? I don't know the exact story. I know that she, he's a man. He's a man. Who is all woman. Who's all woman. But who has, who's part man. Who's part man. Yeah, so, yeah. I think we know which part. Yes, correct. But she has, you know, the, she has some very I, feminine this qualities. This is the international male symbol. Right. Yeah. <laughs> So. Now, uh, this is a true story, isn't it? This is an honest-to-God true story. And these story. people play them like this, the transvestite. The lady should be plays herself in the film, and she's uh, really, really good in it. And, yeah. and, and it's a murder mystery. And now, was this her first film? Yes, it was. It was her first film, and uh, she didn't want anyone else to play, you know, the lady should be like right. RuPaul or anything like that. Right. She wanted to do it herself, and Clint wanted to use her, but, you know, she had never been in a, a film before. She, right. was, she wasn't uh, a technically accomplished actress, but she's a, she has, a, like, a nightclub act. Like, I guess that's what transvestites do. They, have, they all have a nightclub act? I, mean, I don't, I mean, they, have, they, go to the, they go to a club, and then they do their, whatever it is, they lip sync and sports cast. And, one right, sports yeah, cast. But, yeah, but, uh, or, uh, you know, cooking school, whatever it is that they do. And so she, but she's a great comedian, and uh, so she was very funny. So what we tried to do is just keep it real fast and loose like it was in her nightclub act and, and just capture it on film. So we sort of hit the script in a roundabout way. Now, had either you or Clint Eastwood ever worked with a transvestite actor? Before? I had not. I can't speak for Clint. Yeah. I, don't, I, don't I mean, know was it odd? Did you find it like when, when, the, when it's time for a break and you sort of head to the restrooms? Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. Who goes first? I'm <laughs> well, I'm a gentleman, so yeah. the ladies always the go ladies first. first. Right. First. But she's, uh, yeah, she was great in the film. She's really good in the film. She's a good actress. <laughs> He's a good actress. Well, yeah. it, it, it's, it's, you know, it's funny. You always think of Clint Eastwood as, you know, you punk kid. But, I mean, he, he has a great eye, a great touch on this, yeah. on this movie, and catching those sort of southern... Habits. What's it like working with him? Is he a nice guy to work with? He's a great guy to work yeah. with. He's a, it's very rare in the film business where you get to work with a guy who has that kind of autonomy. I mean, he can pretty much, you know, make whatever film he wants to make and, 
you know, he's a very sort of graceful, relaxed guy. So the set, you know, it's very sort of effortless. And, yeah. you know, when you usually work on sets, there's everybody screaming and yelling and walkie-talkies, and there's all this commotion and clutter. And with him, it's just totally silent, so the actors can hear themselves think. And he doesn't even have anybody on a walkie-talkie. They all have these, like, Secret Service earpieces, and they all talk into pens. So it's all quiet all the time. <laughs> so it's really, it's really a great way to work. Now, you play, we should explain, you play a journalist yes. who goes to investigate, uh, who goes to cover this lavish party that's given every year. Yeah, a famous you. party by a character uh, that Kevin Spacey plays, right. who's wonderful in the film, uh, named Jim Williams, and who's this kind of... Uh, great southern gentleman. He's like a socialite and a right. bon vivant and an antiques dealer. And I get called in to go cover this party, this very famous Christmas party. And the night of the Christmas party, there's a shooting. And so my character decides to stick around and write a book about it. Let's take a look. Here's a scene. And so this is me uh, talking to the Lady Chablis, trying to find information about the, the murder victim. Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil. I did. Thank nice you. job. Nice touch on this one. So what are you, now you're going, uh, you're going back to Chicago, right? With the, yes, I'm going to go back to Chicago you your sister, soon. Joan, and, and, yeah. and, and your new nephew, Dylan. Right, Dylan, yeah. yeah, yeah. We gave yeah. him a little... Uh, uh, you gave him the Michael Jordan jersey. Yeah, yes. Michael Jordan signed that to him. I know, it's unbelievable. Yeah, that was kind of neat. The kid's going to get spoiled. Now, do you do the big Thanksgiving thing, Mom cook? Yeah, Mom cooks. We cook. Yeah. We, we eat. Do the whole bit. We sleep. We do the whole, <laughs> whole nine yards. <laughs> now, listen, I know you got to go because you've got this cold. Thanks for coming out of the sick bed. I really appreciate oh, you no, coming Oh, my here, pleasure. So. Thank you for, very much. Thank you, Zach. We'll be back at 2 for more right after this. Thank you, John.